Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care, and today I'm going to be making my first leaf bag. Uh, now this is not an original idea. I got this idea from Randy at Countryside Vlogs. Um, if you haven't checked out his videos, you need to do so because he's already done all of this when it comes to these leaf bags. I mean, you know, he's the guy with the ideas. I'm just taking his idea and uh, doing it for myself because I want to try it out this year. And basically it's a bag extension that goes on your accelerator bagger or in my case I have the uh, Rackham grass catchers so I'm going to be putting it on that. And it basically just extends that and also uh, kind of gives you some options on how to dispose of the leaves. Um, I have a different idea of how I'm going to use it but let me show you what I'll be using first of all. So I picked these up at my uh, local Home Depot, heavy duty tarp. These are six by eight foot, 10, mil 10 millimeter, uh, 48 square feet, which that doesn't matter. Um, you do want the heavy duty tarps and Randy stresses this in his videos too. If you get the cheap tarps, they're gonna tear up. So uh, get the heavy duty tarps. They're not expensive. I went big on the zip ties and uh, probably went overkill, which I have a tendency to do, but I got a thousand count, eight inch cable ties, and they're just zip ties, eight inch zip ties, you know, heavy duty. Um, the reason I bought so many is not because I need them for this project, per se, um, although I will need quite a few. I think it takes somewhere around 30 or 40 per uh, bag, but we'll see about that. Um, the reason I bought that many is because I use them for a lot of things, a lot of projects my little exacto knife that I'll be using to make my holes. So this is the inside of the tarp. So what I'm going to do is fold that tarp closed and then you zip tie two sides. Um, very simple. Um, he explains it better and goes into more detail. Again, that's Randy at Countryside Vlogs and I definitely want to give him all the credit for this. This is not my idea, guys. Um, this is 100% an idea that I got from him. and Like I said, I'm just doing my version of it um, to try out for myself. So now the way I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be folding the eight foot side over on itself. So basically I'll have a six foot by four foot bag. And I believe the way he shows it in his videos, he does the opposite. Um, he goes with the longer bag a longer more narrow bag and mine's going to be a, a shorter wider bag essentially um, but that's what I want because of the way I'm going to be using them if it works that'll make more sense when you see how I put it to use so uh, and also Randy's video again go to countryside vlogs and look up the video homemade leaf bag dash super cheap to make that's the video where he actually makes his leaf bag, so you can see how he makes it. Um, it's basically going to be exactly how I'm going to make mine. I'm just following his design. So, uh, and again, I have the 4.4 the cubic foot Rackham grass catcher. That's what I'm going to be using this on. So let's jump right into making this. Edge, probably about uh, the width of my thumb, so, you know, three quarters of an inch. Uh, and poke my holes there. I don't want to be out too close to the edge even though it does have that reinforced edge and I think it would be fine to go closer. I'm going to stay in about three quarters of an inch on this bag and just see how it works. Looks like real quick. So as you can see those those two eyes lined up so I can just run a zip tie through there and you see how far this is? Like I said, it's about three quarters of an inch. And then in the very edge of this tarp, there's like a, it feels like a string in there. I don't know what it is exactly, but it kind of reinforces the edge where they make the fold. And so this one kind of bunched up on me, but um, this is a better example is what I'm doing. Uh, coming in about three quarters of an inch, punching my hole, and then just run the zip tie through just like that. Okay. And this is actually going to be the outside of the bag. Um, if you wanted the bag sealed up, you would turn it inside out 
and it would create a seam. But we don't want that. We actually want airflow between the zip ties. So it's not a lot. You're not going to have a lot of, of air pushing through there. Um, and especially debris. You don't want your debris coming out. But there should be enough space there um, to allow airflow so that the bag stays inflated, which will allow it to fill up. And uh, you'll see when it's in use. Make a little more sense. So here's how far I went between. Um, that's probably better, actually. This is probably more like three inches right here. This one's probably more like four or more. Um, and it's probably better to keep them a little closer. So I don't want to get that spread apart. So uh, let's go ahead and finish stitching this up and uh, then I'll show you the finished product. The whole process took about 15 minutes, so uh, going through and punching the holes, running the zip ties through, and then snipping them off, and I ended up using 32 zip ties all together. My first time setting this up. As you can see, I've already got my grass catcher on. So uh, let's put the bag on for the first time and see how everything works.
It was working great right up until I got it it's about three quarters full. Um, and it's just getting too heavy to where it's pulling off, but you can see camera stands kind of in the way, but um, you can see there's quite a bit here that I've done. Let me show you the side too. Okay, so I went down there and I got the side as well. So there's a lot more of this yard than you can see from the camera angle. Um, and there's actually not very much left. So there's just this little section in the middle. So probably two passes and I'll be done, but it's just a little too heavy and it keeps pulling off of there. But really, uh, that worked pretty good. And so let me show you inside the bag. Okay, so now as I said, this bag is about three quarters full. Um, this is almost the top right here. Eh, I guess that's probably more like half, really. But still, half full, and my idea for uh, disposal is instead of taking this and dumping it out on the trailer, what I want to do is just take the bag just like a, a leaf bag, like a trash bag, set it on the trailer, and I want to have enough of those that I can just set them on the trailer and then when we go to unload the trailer all we have to do is just dump out the bags rather than trying to drag a bunch of wet damp leaves and grass and all that stuff off and um, I think that's another reason why it's getting so heavy is because this is wet the grass is wet so you know, there's, there's wet grass, damp leaves, and so it's just a lot of weight um, piling up pretty quick. So, I've got a mulch pile here at the house, so I'm going to go dump this out real quick, and then we'll finish this up. Okay, so what I did, guys, is I put my bungee cord in that hole that's on the tarp, one of those eyes, and then I took the slack that was in the mouth of the bag and pulled it up into a tail, wrapped my bungee cord around that and around the handle, and then hooked it into the corner eye hole. So uh, that seems to work pretty good. You know, the more I use this, obviously the better um, system I'll probably figure out.
Okay guys, so I finished up my leaves and I even got some of my neighbors. <laughs> um, I just went, went over on their side a little bit and cleaned up some of that. There was actually a big pile of leaves right down there. You can kind of see the dark spot on the ground. Ran right over that big pile of leaves and if I would have done that with a bagging system, it would have plugged it up. But because this is just wide open, it didn't plug it up, just plowed right through it. So, um, so I guess let's, uh, let's talk pros and cons. Um, obviously one of the pros would be that it's a lot cheaper to get into a leaf cleanup system like this than it is to get into a, uh, a collecting system or a bagging system, you know, the type that goes on the back of your mower and uh, has its own belt driven vacuum, all of that. This uh, Rackham grass catcher, uh, I believe it was like 259, 260 is what I paid for that. So that's not too bad. And then obviously, you know, the tarps, zip ties, we talked about that already. Um, that's that's fairly inexpensive. So you've got a working leaf cleanup system that isn't just mulching the leaves. You know, it's it's a working collection system that works really good on a stand-on mower, especially for a fraction of the price of a bagging system. Like I said, that has you know some type of catcher and the vacuum tube and, and a belt driven, typically a belt driven um, impeller or vacuum on it. So, plus the, capa the capacity isn't bad. Um, I could go with a bigger tarp if I wanted more capacity, but really this, this isn't bad at all. So, um, about the only thing that I can see that I, that I might change is that I may run a strap all the way around it. And that would be a bit of a pain because obviously, you know, fishing the strap down around it um, and all of that, when you go to take it off and put it back on, the bungee cord works okay, but it just kind of holds it on this one corner. So I'm gonna have to play around with, um, I'm gonna kind of have to play around with making that work better. If you get it up on there far enough, which I do, have it up on there far enough now it stays on pretty good but as you saw um, it came off on me a couple times and that mostly has to do with me just not being familiar with using a system like this yet so so pros uh, it's cheaper it's it is fairly easy I mean all you got to do is throw your catcher on there and attach your bag I mean that's that's pretty easy and emptying it is easy you pull it off you dump it out just like you would with a bagging system unless you have a you know like a dump from the seat hopper like I do on my John Deere uh, and one of the reasons of why I'm putting this together is because I want to be able to use my standers farther into the season you know I have the John Deere mower with the hopper and all of that and it works fine but guys it's a lot of work not having a dump trailer and uh, putting all those leaves mulched up on the trailer even on tarps and then trying to drag them off to empty that trailer out it sucks okay I mean it really sucks so if I can do this and do like I said and just set the bags on the trailer then all I'm doing is pulling a bunch of bags off the trailer and dumping them out and it would be a lot less labor intensive than what we currently do so um, this is just my lawn just testing it out um, and obviously my lawn and a customer's lawn when I finish cleaning up the leaves whether we're mulching or bagging or whatever we always run over it one last time and stripe it you know not every yard but most of the yards that I have I do that um, I'm probably not going to do that on mine today simply because a lot of this grass is baby grass from from where I just uh, put down grass seed and everything about a month ago. So this grass isn't very old. I kind of hate to even run over it with my, uh, with my zero turn because normally I would mow this with my FW-15. But I wanted to try this out on my yard before I took it anywhere else. So 
so it's all right uh, anyway we would run over it one last time and just stripe it out that's how we would normally finish up a yard but as you can see it cleaned up the yard I mean you know there were quite a few leaves and it cleaned them up and like I mentioned there was a pile back there that I ran through no, I mean I ran through it I didn't slow down and uh, it didn't clog it up I mean it just they just threw right into the bag and kept going so um, anyway I guess the only con if you will the only negative that I can think of is um, you know you have a little bit of labor in making the bag uh, or bags and you have a little bit of labor in taking the bag off putting it on the trailer um, taking it off the trailer and dumping it out that kind of stuff but man you know for the cost effectiveness if I was if I was just getting into the business I didn't already have my John Deere with the bagging system let's say I, let's say all I had was just one of these mowers all I had at this point was just one stand on mower um, this would be the way to get into doing leaf cleanups making money off of the leaf season without having to break the bank okay um, that bagging system for my John Deere that Protero that I use and I and I really like it it's a good system um, but that system cost me almost three grand you know the bagger and the, the vacuum and everything it's heavy duty it'll last me for a long time it was a good investment but three thousand dollars is a heck of a lot of money when you can spend 250 on a bagger or 260 buy some tarps and some zip ties and have yourself a, a nice working collection system for you know three hundred dollars so three hundred dollars versus three thousand dollars that is a heck of a difference especially if you're a new guy starting out and you're on a on a low budget okay um, for me this is going to be a system that we can hopefully use to kind of take some wear and tear off of the Protero um, also to be able to use our standards a little bit farther into the season and a backup system let's let's say that it's just easier and faster to use the Protero but then something happens with the Protero and it's out of service then I have this to fall back on to keep my season going okay it's always good to have a backup plan um, redundancy is great with mowing equipment lawn care business I always try to have something to back up something else because stuff happens things break down um, sometimes you have to order a part that's on back order or it's out you know I mean things happen so anyways guys um, I'll quit gabbing thanks for watching um, I hope this gives you guys some some good ideas uh, again not an original idea this is not my original idea I'm just I'm doing something that someone's already done and uh, trying it for myself so uh, get out there and make some money guys and we'll catch you on the next one